Uh, I just have a few things to say. I'll be brief. Uh, my name is Red, and I come here with my tribe from the Sacred Water Camp. Yeah! And uh, I'm here because my initial intention was to stop this Sable Trail pipeline. But as I've, uh, during my time spent at the camp, I've realized that this is bigger than that. That this is a transition, a shift in consciousness, and we are truly moving towards our final stage of evolution as a species. Because after this pipeline is done, I'm not going to be able to go back to my life in society existing for profiting a corporation. Yeah. After I'm done here, I seek to return to the natural way of life after I go on to fight other battles. And whenever you look at a child, whether it be a young man like the one who just spoke, or a young toddler sitting over here, remember this is the reason why we're here. And we will endure these battle scars so that our grandchildren will never have to. Yeah. And remember, remember that we wish to spread the message that there's no room in life for hatred. There's no room in life for greed or intense selflessness. And tell yourself that you're not here because you hate the government. You're not here because you hate a pipeline. You're here because you love the planet. Yeah. And you love your people. And you love your children. And we will fight to protect what we love. And we will let those know from the oil workers to the police officers who defend them to the neoconservatives who unfortunately suffer from cognitive dissonance, to Donald Trump, to the Congress who pulls his strings, to the Rockefeller oil industry, all the way to the Rothschild Central Bank, that we will not exist in indentured servitude, and we will exist to our infinite potential, and then, after we let them know this, we will extend our hand and urge them to join us. Thank you all my brothers and sisters for being here and uniting in this fight and we will be victorious, I hope.